Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for November 28th through December 10th. November 28th through December 2nd, we have above Nomites here across the Northeast Pacific and across uh, Canada and joins another Paza Height Anomaly Center over near Greenland. And we have a trough here in the west. We start off here with a ridge, but then a trough kind of takes over here with a zone of flow across the eastern states, and we'll go through that. And you see exactly what I mean. See the zone of flow starts to develop, and we have below normal heights. They get late in the period, and the models are good agreement. Now, um, during this period, we have um, an energetic upper low over California in the Great Basin. It's forecast to generate a potent winter storm that will spread rain and and um, snow from Southern California, the Southwest, Southern and Central Rocky Plains and the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Middle Atlantic through uh, the period. And we'll take a look at that. This is the start of the period. This is GFS. See, here's our upper low here now. And we go through the period and you start seeing some really starts to crank up. We have another system here moving into the West, heavy rain here, snow in the mountains here. But here's the more important system at the time. Uh, we have snow in the backside and north of it, rainstorms possible to the south. And then we go through the period. Now we see we're in Wednesday, Wednesday, 7 a.m. The storm is now over the Great Lakes, snow to the north, rainstorms possible, heavy rain possible across the south. And this other system moves in behind it. And this will bring another... Um, We'll have another threat of heavy rain and snows in the southwest, possibly leading to um, some flooding problems. But here you can see the system down in the southwest lifts out. Then we get to Friday. And you can see here, here's a broad swath of snow here across the northern states. Mixed precipitation starts moving into middle Atlantic states. This is, what day is this? Trying to see what, um, okay, this is be Saturday, uh, Saturday evening, 7 p.m., and then we go into um, 7 a.m. Sunday. You can see we have ice moving into the Mid Atlantic, and then rain, and then the system moves out. So there's a lot of activity coming on. This period will be um, fairly unsettled. So um, then, now we're going to look at the period for December 1st to the 5th. And uh, during this period, I want to show you this. Let me see if I, oh, I don't have it up. Let me go get it in a second. I don't know how well you can see this. We have an early stratic, um, stratospheric warming event and these could be common and early in the season and this is when the qbo easterlies are far lower from the upper stratosphere now the coming stratosphere can have some impacts on the cold and stormy weather in week one of december until week two and you can see here's a stratospheric, a stratospheric warming occurring right here this is the gfs this is the um upper level winds and the impacts are somewhat extreme. However, the GEFS shows another event, which I don't have that map up, may be stronger heading towards mid-December. So during this period, the flow doesn't change very much with the zone of flow, with, with uh, a zone of flow across much of the nation. A trough remains in the west with below normal heights in the east. You can see it right there on the maps. Miles of good agreement. So for this forecast period, forecasting below normal temperatures for much of the nation, except for like the southeast, and a forecast in of 48 degrees below normal or forecast for precipitation. Call for below normal precipitation for the northwest. Probability of currents is 35%. Then we take a look at the remainder of the nation will have above normal precipitation with anomalies uh, with forecast of occurrence 35 to 45 percent take a look at the period for december 6th to the 10th 
and the pattern doesn't change from the previous period we have near to below normal heights across much of the nation zone of flow however if you take a look at european ensembles let me see what i have here it kind of brings in a trough here in the west still the zone of flow with above normal heights in the east but i think that's out there right now we'll see how that develops so i think the period would be more what we had in the previous period with trough across much of the nation near to below normal heights so for this forecast period i am forecast up wrong map below normal temperatures generally from the central and northern u.s across this area here and i'm forecasting numbers of two to eight degrees below normal the highest anomalies would be across the um, northern plains upper mississippi valley and for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation from the plains to the pacific coast and the probability of occurrence is about uh, 35 to 45 percent so that's a long range of weather forecast discussion for november 28th through december 10th thanks for coming jim only's world of weather and have a good day